What's up guys, Bacon is Good 2 here, and in this video I'll show you how to replace your battery in your PS Vita system. Just as a side note, this is for the fat version. If you have the 2000 version, the slim model, it may be a little different. Now the things you'll need before you get started will be a screwdriver, the smallest one you can find, a thin piece of plastic that can pry open the device, and of course your replacement battery. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna want to do is to make sure the device is off as a precaution and then make sure there's nothing inside the device so take out the memory card okay there we go out if you have a game card you want to take that out too there we go game card out and if you have this particular model a sim card There we go, that was easy. All right, now once you got all that stuff out and the device is off, you wanna start screwing out. Well, I prefer the bottom first, since it's easier. There you go, here, just start carefully removing these two screws down here. Dirt in there. Yeah, if you have gunk in there, I don't know if you can see it, like a little bit of gunk right there. Just clean it out first. get the ones in the back there are four of them in the back you got one here one here one here one here and one here take those out too okay so there's the first one yeah there we go there it is now these screws are in kind of tight just don't use too much force it's kind of just right there okay this one's gonna be tough go there we go and here we have all four screws right here there are two more in the top underneath this I believe it's a display port there we go see two screws on top don't you forget that now once you get the two screws out all the screws out it's time to pry open the device now I didn't mention you could use a piece of plastic like this but I find this to be a little bit more helpful. So, start on the top, since it, you have a better gap in the top than in the bottom. So. Oh, there we go. There we go, you see that? Starting to, the gap's starting to get bigger. Just uh, keep doing that around the phone. I mean, the feet of my bad phone. <laughs> Oof. I want to be very careful here. I don't want to, uh... Alright, alright, alright. Ah! Alright, now... You don't want to yank this really fast. Because, as you can see here, we got... Two cables connected to the back. This one obviously goes to the battery. And this one goes to the touchpad sensor. Okay, now to remove the touchpad, you just simply lift this tab up. If you happen to have an electronics kit and it comes with one of these, then these will help a lot. Boop, there we go. That was easy. And the battery. Yep. Just as simple as that. Now let's focus on this. This is where the battery is. Now the battery is actually mounted in the back of the device. As you can see here, this plastic mount, there's two screws. You're gonna want to unscrew them. All right, now once you take the screw off, this tab that was holding it just pops off. So now it's time to actually get the battery out. Okay, the cables seem to be underneath this plastic, which I believe it comes off of like some kind of tab over here. So there's a, this thing kind of just lifts up. There we go. All right, so it's starting to lift up. All 
Okay, there we go. Now this thing should just come back in the way it did. You just have to be careful when you're taking this out. It's a little tight. Just like right here, you see that? Don't try to put any pressure there or anything. Just try to lift these, this plastic from the uh, points that are here. Lift this up and then pull away from that. Right. Bam. There we go, old battery out. And new battery in. Now these batteries you can find on Amazon, eBay. The price varies depending who and where you get them from. I got mine for $6. And some of them actually come with uh, this little doohickey, the screwdriver I have. So now, to put it back in. Just put it in head first here. Through that little small gap right here. The small gap there, you just put it head first. The right way, yeah, that's the right way. There's a special hole where it goes in. Let's try putting this back, actually. Ah, there we go. Bam! As simple as that. I'll just put the uh, mounting back on. The plastic that mounts the battery back on. Right here. Yeah, there we go. I'm a freaking genius. Once you're done putting the mount back on and screwing it, now it's time to reconnect the device to the battery and the back touchpad, which is really simple. I'm just gonna zoom in here again real quick. Hold up. Take the, uh, well, connect the battery first, it's more easier. You just connect the battery to the, um, like that, see, and then you just push down. Push down. Same thing with the touchpad, just be a little careful. There you go, they're both connected. Now after you do that, now it's just, just carefully close the device. There's There are contacts where the speakers go and the, there are contacts here, I don't know if you can see them, like right here. Just uh, make sure everything's in line. When you close it, make sure the camera's in line. And then this should just snap back like that, and this should just, yeah, just snap together. There we go, that was easy. Now we just screw everything back in. Okay, I'm gonna have to open it, this happened. Whoops. Okay guys, once you get all the screws in, it is time for the moment of truth. I'm going to put this thing to charge, clean it up a little bit, and then we'll see what happens, all right? As well, as you can see, the device is working right now. I just, it'll tell you to set the time and stuff. It'll, it'll always do that when you take out the memory. Thank you for watching, guys. If this video has helped you, leave a like. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Or if you just like to follow my content, just subscribe. Thank you again for watching and have a nice day.